Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Yo, so today, this is for my female rat tags or um, rat tags that are female. <laughs> you know, that's it, basically. So I want to talk to you guys about being a mammal tech. So you feel like or you think you want to be a mammal tech when you become a radiology tech as a female. It's very possible, but just... Um, I'll give you like a little, I'm gonna give you like three things that are what to expect. Let's put it that way. So three things to expect in becoming a mammal tech and and I'm gonna show you, tell you how you can get there. So first, of course, you have to be an RT, you have to go to school for two years, um, pass your RT license, you know, get an RT certified. That's like your basis on whatever modality you choose to, to venture off to after. But um, in a lot of hospitals, you know, um, depends where you work. Okay, let's put it that way. Depends where you work. Uh, in order to get, let's start how to get certified in MAMO. So if, in order to get certified in MAMO, I honestly think there's not a school in the country that certifies you in MAMO. Like, you'd be like, oh, I'm gonna go to so-and-so state college and, you know, take MAMO courses. I haven't heard of one, to be honest. Um, all the MAMO techs that I know have been trained on the job on the job training and then I don't know how many mammals you have to do. I think uh, you have to do, I know to keep your certification, you have to do at least 200 mammals a year, you know, and then, um, but I don't know how many do you have to do in order to sit for your registry. Uh, I'm gonna guess 200. I don't know, to be honest, I never really got into that part because males can't do mammals and, um, you know, it's just, you're a male, you can't, you can't do it. I'm not saying you can't because it's discrimination, but you know, if you're a male and you want to be a mammal tech, um, I'm sure there's ways around it, but um, I don't know, I don't know. I don't want to personally be a mammal tech. They put it, they, they do a lot. They do a lot for, for the patient and you want your patient to feel comfortable, you know? So anyway, so that's the, that's the most, um, way that I know that mammal techs get certified in is just on the job training. Okay, so once you get on the job training, you get all your things checked off by a licensed mammal tech, you send it off to AART, and then you go sit for a board. Same thing for like RT. So if you have your RT license, you already know that you have to go Pearson view usually, sit down, take your test or whatever. And I honestly heard that mammal tech registry is actually the easiest registry to get certified in. Um, I mean, all tests are a little difficult, but I heard that the mammal tech one is super, I'm not gonna say super easy, but it's easy, you know? So it's not something you have to like really, really stress about. From what I heard, you know, I could be wrong, but I know everybody's different. I'm not a good test taker. So to me, it'd probably be super tough, you know? And be, I'm gonna keep it 100, you know? But, um, okay, so three things to know or three things to kind of keep in mind whenever you wanna be a mammal tech. You know, so first of all, you have to understand that you, this is kind of like, um, it's a deep modality and a sense of personal space and a sense of knowing that, you know, all patients come in different shapes and sizes uh, and you have to be in a personal space. You have to, um, you have to, you know, was a proper was a proper term chest area you know you got to put it you got to position it right and um you have to understand you have to you know when you do a mammo you have to, you, you basically squit you know squishing or, or or pushing together i mean i don't know how to explain that but you're compressing the the breast tissue kind of hard and it's very uncomfortable for females so you have to understand that you it's kind of like an intimate modality because you know you you just have to be um what's that word i'm looking for you just have to be gentle i guess you have to understand you have to you have to understand to be gentle with patients because you know it's intimate man you know you, you you're messing with breast tissue you know so that's one thing you have to understand that it's it's very very intimate modality um two 
is that you are the first person to see something. God forbid if it's like cancerous or whatever, like you have that. You have that on your conscience on a daily basis. You as a mammal tech, 99% of the time, 90, not 99, 90% of the time will probably take that home with you, you know, in some sort of way because you see it and you know if it's um, if it's bad or if it's beginning and if, you know, you, you as a mammal tech, you'll know that, you know, you and a radiologist will know that. And, you know, it's kind of like, it's, uh, it's hard to deal with whenever you know that it is cancer and you have to, you don't tell the patient, of course, but you know, and you're like, dang, you know what I'm saying? Like you feel bad. And you know, that to me is, is, is a pretty tough position to be in. And, um, it is, it's, it's just tough, you know? So you're the first, you're one of the first people to to diagnose them. You don't diagnose them, but you're the first person to see it, you know? So that's kind of hard to deal with, you know? And, um, and three, not all patients are, not all patients keep their hygiene at a, at a reasonable level, let's put it that way. You know, I've heard stories that you know, breast tissue can smell too, you know what I'm saying? So you something you have to put up with the odor. Um, and like we spoke earlier, you know, people are different sizes, you gotta move them around and do this. And the patient has to, you know, stay still for a certain amount of time so you can take proper pictures. That's kind of tough, man. That's kind of tough because, you know, it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable already. And then to, you know, sit in certain positions, that's even more uncomfortable. So um, those are just things to consider, you know, when you become a, a mammal tech. Um, and let me give you a couple of examples of why it's it's kind of cool too, you know. Um, besides this, besides the fact that you can save lives, you know, becoming a mammal tech because you're the first person to detect it, and you always pray that it's the beginning and it's not too far off. Um, that's kind of cool. That's that that's a. Um, that's a, a satisfaction itself, you know, like knowing that you prevented something that could have been worse. Um, two is, depends where you work, they usually have a pretty cool work-life balance because once you become a mammal tech, you don't have to worry about working overnight. You don't have to worry about being on call. You don't have to worry about working weekends because 99% of the time, mammal techs only work Monday through Friday, eight to 4.30. And all their patients are scheduled, so you know what you're gonna have the next day. It's rarely that you have a mammal added onto your schedule because they're not really like um, stat procedures. And in certain cases they are, in certain cases they're not. Um, so that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool to think about. You know, the the work life balance uh, for a mammal tech is pretty cool. You know, it's pretty good. Now, what I forgot to tell you guys, I'll be honest, is that mammal techs put up with a lot of paperwork tons of paperwork um and if you're in a small facility and you have to be the i guess mammal tech slash mm, mammal lead i guess you can say all that falls on you you know and there's a lot of rural hospitals that are small that their mammal techs do all the patients and they do all the paperwork and uh and that's hard that's hard because they have to get certified every year every year by um i think it's fda um, they come in every year, make sure they get certified, make sure you guys are doing, or the, you know, the techs are doing proper, everything properly. So that's super important. Um, but all right, guys, hope this help, helped you. Hope this helped you and uh, thank you for watching.